Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. Well, this is a total surprise. We are going to HSE Swiss. So this is a company that my friend Ricardo from Absolute Sounds has promised to deliver to me to review. And this was at the show. And now all of a sudden these guys are coming here. We have Slobodan and Vladimir, and they plan to murder me after this event, <laughs> and uh, which is fine. And uh, they were going here, so I, I hitched a ride with them, and here we are at HSC Swiss. And Alex drove us, and uh, we're still all here, so he did a good job. Let's just go in. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm going to give you this. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 Ah, you are the Neil Kahn. This man. Thank you. I'm out of cards. Have show me the best county level. Oh, oh, I know who you are. Nice to meet you. Me, me. So yeah. You, uh, Did I meet you before? Okay. And, uh, no, that's thank yeah. God because it would really. Excuse yes, me. I know that. Completely from time and without cleaning, cutting from one piece. Did, did he give you that as a present? <laughs> uh, perhaps if I give him a coffee or some that is gifts. A, that's a major. That is a major accomplishment that you guys did. I mean, that is unbelievable. I've heard that in in two cartridges in the Audio Technica. And in the uh, DS, DS, DS Audio. Oh. Wow. Anyway, you got anything for me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. And his good friend, <laughs> for me. <laughs> yes, these are very nice. Yes, these are, these are among the most beautiful things that you'll ever see in a preamp and photo preamp. Look at these things. <laughs> Oh, I've got one of those. That's a G36. Yeah, I've got one. Of those. I got one. I have also. I bought it at a garage sale for forty dollars, oh. and it worked perfectly. And I had a guy go through it. He said, "This has hardly been used. It's it's perfect." Well, wow. let's, let's go here. All handmade, huh? Yes. Skilled, skilled women doing this work. That's what I figured. She does nails on the side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say about this on table. Yeah. So I have an A700 also. Yeah, yeah, sure. That I got. Seven hundred. I had the, the professional version P67. Yeah, I had it. As I have started, eighty-one. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yes. You're very busy. P67. Yes. <laughs> You're a busy guy. <laughs> After I have made my studies, my degrees, and all. And did you think reel-to-reel -reel tapes would make a comeback the way they've made a comeback? Not really, right? I mean. I, I, I have seen someone around on the exhibition. Like you're not considering making a, a tape uh, head amp amplifier, you know? To... Yeah, I can make no, it. This is good enough, right? Yeah. I have made the transition by Studer, by the large mixing console from analog to digital. This has taken nearly 10 years. Yeah, well. But my heart is, is analog. It's analog, of course, mine too. And then Studer has closed, I had to make something for me <laughs> and this is what I have dreaming and, and there it is to, and to make a phono preamp is the most complicated thing to make a good one 
to make a good one. Yes, good you can one, make a cheap yes. one pretty pretty easy actually. No, this was already in a microphone preamp for studios. Oh, I really? have designed that has a very, very low noise level. Ah, okay. And then I have seen uh, if I make this here in Switzerland, this is too expensive for the studios. I can say only yeah. three, four in the world in the very large studio. And that this time, six, seven years ago, vinyl has to come back. Yeah. And then I have added the real stuff, changed some things. And those meters going up because you're, it's breaking in, is that why it's yeah, burning? Yeah. How long did it take to burn in? How uh, long did it take? I let it two weeks. Two weeks. Burn here, yeah. But to find errors yeah, also. Yeah, yeah. And, and just to be on the and those side. are the power supplies. Yes. Yeah. They okay. have a 120 VA total panel transformer inside. And the real power supplies here then for the left and right. Uh -huh. different. Especially here is I run with plus minus 32 volts. Mm -hmm. And so the tuple is normal. And so that's the module that goes on top. This is. This yeah, right. This here. Now, if you have uh, RCA inputs on uh, RCA then plugs, you, you use adapters on there? XLR RCA adapter, yeah. and then you have special the possibility to set up what is on pin one. Because in the adapters, always one and three right. is connected. That's right. This is no cool for not gonna, me. Not going to hear anything. So <laughs> Therefore, you, you, you can lift you, pin one. Oh, good. And if you make lift, then you can run pseudo-symmetrical. Right. This means that the screen is then the, the minus right. and the, the hot is the plus. Right. <laughs> not a problem. And otherwise, you put it on, on chassis, on ground. Or ground from the circuit. This is special. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> we wound also, for example, this coil here. This has two and a half Henry. This is very, very, very large coil. Yes. You can buy a two Henry coil. Therefore, we had to wind this from yeah, hand. Did you, did you wind 540 it? turns. <laughs> and what are those? Those are called. Com this is for the subsonic. Yeah. What are those called? What are they called? I've seen those once before. In one other thing. That coil. That coil. That I've seen that in one other product. The cores. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. RM cores. This is an RM core that has two in the lower side, and then you have the clamp. Right. But this is only for the subsonic filter, this region here. <laughs> but the filter is very good, it's third order passive, and the 20 hertz, no influence, and then it goes down. Also, the rear filters that are in. So I have these red caps here, and they are selected to 0.25%. I buy them, they are 10%. Oh, no, you. A lady from me needs one day to select the right ones. Well, and you give the other ones back, they don't, they don't no, meet spec. You can't, you have to just okay. toss them. <laughs> you sell them to other companies. <laughs> no, they didn't know they are here in the store. <laughs> because uh, uh, the, on the Ria I'm better than 50 milli dBs in the car. <laughs> but therefore, they must have this, uh, uh, yeah, these very small tolerances. The input part, this is secret here. The, the secret, can't the, see inside there. The, the first two transistors are the most important for the noise. And here is the servo that regulates microvolts. What is special, because I have a so long noise input, I can make uh, so many gain I want. Yeah, no I problem. No noise. No also, noise. In, the, in the moment, if, sorry, if you look from the front side, you have uh, the gain itself. It can be 
turn from zero to <laughs> now <laughs> 72 dBs. <laughs> and that's the that, that, that that, signal on the And that quiet, that quiet, right? And then you add 10 dBs here, then you are by 82. <laughs> Okay, so and you can use a really, have, really low output, yes. point 0.1, no problem. And it's test that I can give 5 dB more, no problem. And the IEN is 144. This is the and you, but you don't have a, a mono switch on here? No. No mono switch. You have to do that on your preamp. I, I, yeah. This was a little bit discussion because this is really dual so mono. You, you didn't want to thing. take anything away from the anything away from the sonic quality. So yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Like in the eighties, if you look, this is my R and D. I have my origin system one. <laughs> oh, this, this is where the secret sauce gets. <laughs> there all will be measured or just. Takes a is this this is your office here? This is this is your you sit here. Oh, That's your. Oh. <laughs> I'm in <interested. laughs> Yes, therefore it's also not so nice and clean. Not nice people not work. Compared to my compared to my office, it's beautiful. <laughs> yes, I know not. <laughs> oh, but you see also all. Uh, all rotary switches we have is from Elma, Elma right. Swiss company, yes. Mexico, half hours yes. from here. Very expensive. <laughs> 220 bucks. <laughs> All hand soldered. Without the resist, this is my latest put the resist. I saw them, I saw her doing that. But, Brilliant. But after 30 years, they are very, very good. And that's how to be done. Uh, yes, I mean, I come from Stuttgart, I want good quality, I want no bullshit. How long have you been making these products? These. The, the products, the finished preamp, how many years? It has taken three years to build up, not to do the R&D. It's yeah, taken at, at three years. Three years of R&D? Yeah. And how about how long have you been marketing them, selling them? Uh, officially, I have the company six years now. Uh -huh. Was it an immediate success? People immediately started buying them that could afford them? Yes, I had a good, very good. Uh, well, he's going to show me the books. He's going to show me the books. To hit the uh, yeah, there you go. 2019. This is the best magazine. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's okay. My, my it's ego, at least one of the My best. ego was not wrapped up in oh, a mag good, magazine. Good. Not a problem. I know you're not so good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, at the end, 20. 2019. Oh. Yeah. And then I have taken my arbor also. And they loved, they loved it, obviously. Yes, yes. yes of course. And now I come up with this delivery close to 100 piece I have oh. sold for this price. This is, yeah. I think, very good. Yeah. And how many countries are these sold in? Uh, now I have... You see, this was from the Messe. <laughs> These are all distributor requests, serious ones. <laughs> Australia, ah. Israel, then all, all the. Uh, I have all former uh, post block. Uh, how do you say this? Romania, oh, yeah, Slovenia, yeah, yeah. all yeah. these are also interested now. I have planned to go to Russia, Russia <laughs> but Putin has destroyed you're not going, my plan. <laughs> you're not going anytime soon? <laughs> no, no, I wait a little thing. bit. My colleague is from uh, White Russland, from Minsk. I see. And his colleague has the largest hi-fi store in Moscow. <laughs> okay. But I'm not going. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I have here... This is the actual part here, you see? Oh, there you go, the push pins. You see, 90% uh, goes to Asia. 90% goes where? 
Asian, Asian yeah, art yeah, yeah. has the narrowest art, also to grow in Europe, also Ricardo. <laughs> only, a only a couple in the United States so far. And in the United States, I started without you so long. And then one in... Uh, Monica, but I have sold only one and then Corona was coming and then this uh, was sleeping. But now I have three interests from the U.S. and Canada that I would imagine very so. good. Yeah, I would imagine so. I miss Lucas. Please here, not look around. <laughs> this is where I smoke and uh, stop. Bill, Bill is this is the, the watch region from Switzerland. Yeah. He makes also for solution and for uh, Nagra face I see, okay. So Specialized the best guy. Place. Okay. You see here is so the gold oh, yeah. part. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> very, very so so just to clarify, your background is was in, in uh, Studer, did you say? Yeah. That's where that was that was where you worked years I ago. have learned Radio Shake three years to repair TVs and then I was going to Studer with twenty years. And then I was seeing yes, 33 years by Studer. 33 years where? Where were you at 33 years? You were someplace? By Studer. Oh, okay. In the R&D. Oh. Uh -huh. Also first in mixing console department. And in Pro the audio. Pro yeah, yeah, Pro audio. Yeah, yeah. Ah, well that's, that's where you want to come from. You yes, want to come from yes. Pro audio because they don't mess around. Therefore some features are professional features in my devices. Yeah, and that's why it's all balanced because that's Pro yeah, audio. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. very special. Yeah. And Drakensdorf, as soon as was, is here directly over the hill. I see. Now, who, who, let me ask you this question. Who can see that sign outside? <laughs> who sees that except you backwards? <laughs> <laughs> and who hung that sign? Oh, it's on the inside. Normally, I have no visitors here. Zombie, not naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the bad. Uh, ah, another beauty. Thank you. Yeah, when the orders are ordered, <laughs> yeah, I must look at the damage. This. Don't, don't drop it on that beautiful <laughs> dust cover. My heart will be in pain in it. It happens. Here, like, if you have some diamond <laughs> little stand. Oh, that's the stand. Oh, I see. Oh, the, it sits on a three-piece sand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being stupid. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. On the vibration stand. The unit itself internally has all these anti vibration proofs and then, then, but the people not believe that this works. Therefore, I have added this stand. <laughs> you see, this is cut out from one piece of material. Yeah. It's a very, very large milling machine. And you lose a lot of, a lot of material gets cut away from that that you have to pay for. It's the most expensive. <laughs> pay 500. Wow. Additional 150 for this plate, for these three things. And does that affect the sound? Does it affect the sound? Or is it aesthetic? <laughs> no, not that much. It's a lot I say of no thing because I'm professional. Yes. And and the, I mean, the device is seven, eight kilograms. Yeah. Who, who did the aesthetics, uh, the, the, the front panel, the looks of the, of the front? So it's all, all yours. I have made all the design, the so circuits. Uh, <laughs> you have a jewelry background as well as an electronics background. Also, I have also 14 international patents oh. made for Harman, um, for oh, I'm not, this company. I'm not surprised. I was several times in North <coughs> The oh, older times. Me yeah, too. Yeah. I was there. Did you take the loudspeaker listening d demonstration? Yeah, you... yeah, with the total blind. Yeah. How did you do? Did you do well? <laughs> yes. Me too. I did well too, thank God. <laughs> but I have I know the names of the people that didn't do well in that, but I'm not revealing who yeah. they are because they're still in the business. I could ruin them in two minutes, but, but, but I won't do that. This time I have handshaked Mr. Harman and all these oh, guys there. Sydney was still there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Jane was there too, and his wife? Then, She's a diplomat now. Yeah, Jane. Yeah. yeah. And then after all has changed. And Floyd yes, Toole was, was there. Was Flo did you meet Floyd Toole? Floyd Toole, yes, yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah, I had lots of discussions with Floyd Toole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Disagreements, but that's, he was good. No, it was very interesting. Who am I to disagree with Floyd Toole? You know, what do I know? I know nothing. <laughs> I just know what I hear. Uh, 
moving around that. Okay, I'm confused because my understanding is that capacitance is important for moving magnet cartridges and resistance impedance is important for moving coil cartridges but you have moving mag coil here and moving magnet here so i'm totally confused why am i confused why you are confused is exactly right what you have told i'm right yes <laughs> and th these are on the wrong place this means if i have i have only one amplifier and this is very good i have no pre pre amplifier you must not switch mc ml okay and so but if you have an mc you turn here down to the volume you want for example 40 ohms right and you set this to mc because oh, I oh, need no additional now, capacity. Okay, now I understand. Uh, okay, okay, if okay, that's I not what it is. If I have an MM system, I go here, then you have 47 and then kilos. Okay, and okay. Oh, and, you, okay. <laughs> and you are just the capacity. Okay, now I understand. <laughs> very, very confusing, but now I understand. Therefore, it has no switch. <laughs> okay, now I understand. And the other is normal. You have the uh, half life, full light. You can uh, lift the scale by 10 dB. You can lift the output by 10 dB. Right. This is only important because I'm symmetrical. I have 2 times 47 kilo ohms. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's a correction. Okay. Then the three inputs, the subsonic filter. Here you can invert the left channel if the vinyl was wrong right. and the mute. Yeah. And what is the subsonic filter? What what? How does that work? What frequency is it? It's a type. Uh, it's a third order passive subsonic filter that has the three dB point by seventeen hertz. Okay. This means it comes up and exactly by twenty is flat. Okay. And so you can't listen to feel you hear nothing. Okay. <laughs> but this is this uh, very large coil that is inside. That's the coil which we see here. This is the coil for the subsonic filter. Oh, okay. This is our hand wound coil. Right. <laughs> including the components around. This is, yeah. Very beautiful. And you see here, this is all mounted on rubber pads. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, because origin, this was a microphone preamp that goes in the rack. Right. And there I need this decoupling. Yeah, the, the gold parts are uh, made by a company close to here that also works for the watch industry. Do you build these to order? So if you if they're sitting on the shelf here, these are already so pre-sold. Oh. These are pre-sold. These five goes out the end of months to they're, Hong Kong. They're all sold. The, they're pre-sold. In other words, you, you get an order for one and you build them because you've gotten an order for one. You just I don't. You cannot order one because you can only pay the mechanics if you take at least ten. Ten. Oh, oh, I see. Wow. The last order was thirty, so fifteen of the thirty. 30 piece, yes, 15 piece ml also then. How long do they have to wait to get 30 pieces? Three, three and a half months. Three months. Uh, yeah, therefore, it's not always easy because I must look in the future and know yeah. how yes. many pieces I yes. need, how many money is in my pocket. Yes. <laughs> and if I, they come, I must pay. And do any customers just get frustrated and say, I'll buy something else because I can't wait any no, longer? No, then I say always, if you order a pink Rolls Royce, you wait also. I uh, think a half year or something, yeah. or otherwise we have no room. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. When I the expedition, I say he wants this taken at so, home, and then if it's not possible, I say he paid a double amount of price, we have say it's also not possible. <laughs> okay, so how is it that Ricardo was getting one for me to review? Where does that come from? That comes out of your stock, or does he have a customer that's lending it to me? How does that happen? No, I'm, must, uh, after this course with regard, I think we have said that you can have my personal unit that has... Your a, personal unit? That has a little scratch or something like that. Oh, because great. Because these units are sold. Uh, that's what I figured, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so mine's got to come from somebody who's already got one. They wait for packaging, final test. Of course. Okay, well, let's get one, one last look around here at HSE. 
this is purely, this is really minimalist, high quality manufacturing. It's amazing. This is a man with a vision and he's a perfectionist. And these people are working hard. Are you going to make an amplifier also? Yeah, for the yeah, power the amp. <laughs> and I have simulated all the circuits and runs, but it takes time. <laughs> now, have, have the women that work for you ever heard what the products that they build sound like? Yes, sometimes. <laughs> I stop them to stream the new hip hop <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> I mean, on a real. I put some real vinyl. <laughs> I mean, on a real stereo, not on this. I mean, a, a real. on the kind of stereo that people that buy this product. So I, I have some LPs here around. Yes, but th this isn't. I mean, this is not the. People that buy this preamplifier are not playing them on a pair of infinity speakers from 1975 that you that you stole from Harman International I know that but have they ever heard it on a real big system this was a gift from my sister <laughs> they had a 5.1 around and then the man was going in the way <laughs> so the answer the, the, the answer is they've not heard their work on a really big stereo no, I have heard this by Tony Weiss Okay. First, as I, I started, I was going to him with the quad, electrostatics. See, and, during the Munich show, you should have like a, t a field trip to bring them to Munich so they can hear their... I had two years in an auditorium, it was running. But the success was not so good because the distributors go not in the auditorium and speak with you. And they yeah. won't look behind. Yeah, I get you. And on this year, one unit as Ricardo has sold, I think, to Netherlands, was running at the High Fidelux. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I heard it. I had no time to. <laughs> Too busy, I got you.